All right, guys. So today I just wanted to showcase something cool that I found when I was exploring. I'm never done looking into Leap and looking into what they add to see if I can maximize or change up the way ads function to get the best return on what I run for ads. And I found an amazing one today that has been uh, performing well for me over the last four days as I test it out. I mean, quarter four is probably not the best time to decide to test things, but for this one, I couldn't not turn it on. All right, so back to the website for uh, the carnivore garden that I continue to use for what I'm showing. As you'll see, it doesn't really make much money. Not really my intention anymore. It's now just a perfect place to kind of showcase and explain cool stuff. So there's a new feature inside the leap settings, which I wouldn't have expected to find it there. But for many people, myself included, we hate it when ads load above the fold. So I went into ads before and I always looked and without doing a lot of custom work to work with classes and stuff like my previous video was talking about for how you can exclude areas as long as you give them classes or you target specific elements. Uh, this way that they added only recently and didn't tell anybody about allows you to just eliminate them above the fold and not have to worry about it anymore. Instead of inside the Zoic ads, it's actually inside Leap. So if you open up Leap and you go to optimize, most people had somebody else do the setup of this and they avoid looking at this. Like their focus is fully on not looking at Leap, but they're missing important things. So what you'll need to do is go into here and do change settings which will then allow you to edit it. And then you go to script execution. And what's interesting is inside this is a new thing that wasn't there before. Now there's this, disable ads above the fold. So what I did is turned it on. I turned it on on all my sites. So now my content loads and the focus is just on the content and getting them onto the page and started reading. And the ads can be below the fold and to this point so far, I've experienced no loss in income. If anything, I'd argue that my income has actually increased over the last couple of days is that people are reading more of the post because they're not getting ads and having content shift above the fold. So they're getting in, they're starting to read, and by the time they're reading, the ads are starting to show up and they don't care anymore. So they read longer and I get more impressions, so I make more money. before you'll see it actively live on your site. And this will be a way to eliminate everything above the fold. And you should uh, see some benefit. I can't say it's Q4, so please don't make choices just based on hoping that you're gonna make more money. If you're gonna make the change, be aware it could give you negative impact too. Every site's kind of different. For mine to this point, because I'm heavily info oriented, they're longer posts, they're reading longer, I'm making more money, and I wanted to make the video so that other people could make this decision. I didn't know it was there until just, um, I think, four days ago when I was in here looking around to see if anything had changed, and I was amazed. So let me know in the comments if you think this is cool or if you're going to turn this on. I'll continue to let it run. As to income, you can tell like the money didn't ginormously change, but you can say like right after I made the change, it peaked up and it went back down again. But as you can see with this little traffic, the numbers are kind of less useful. The bigger your site is, the more impact you'd probably see, whether it's to the top side or would make you less money. I can't tell you for certain, but let me know. I'd like to know if anyone else is interested in this or if they're just going to run it anyway because they like the user experience side of it.